Hello and welcome to Tau Capes. I'm Cody Nestor. He's Todd Heal. What's going on, everybody? And today we're back checking out Thundercats number three. Mm. As the wary Thundercats continue to explore their new home, Lino finds himself inexplicably drawn to Calica, the beautiful and mysterious survivor of the crash mutant ship. Thundercats number three was released on April 10th, 2024. Published by Dynamite, written by Declan Shalvey, with art by Drew Moss. So, Todd, let's discuss Thundercats number three. Spoilers are ahead. All right. So I'm going to just run through the story real quick, Todd. Not a super lot here. So I'm just going to dip through the story. Feel free to interject if you want. Okay. So we start off. So uh, Calica, she can't sleep, so she's wandering around the ship. She ends up speaking with Panthro, uh, who kind of... Uh, Tells her about his uh, lack of trust in her. Oh, yeah. Right to her face. Yeah. <laughs> so she ends up going for a walk with Lino. Lino checks the perimeter with the Eye of Thundera, which opens a magic doorway. Meanwhile, Mumra demands Ghost Jaga speak to him. Ghost Jaga goes all Asian horror movie on him, though. <laughs> Just this big, elongated face uh... blowing Jaga's cow back, <laughs> raps everywhere. Uh, back on the Thundercat ship, Snarf comes through the open doorway sporting a new design. I'll ask you here, what do you think about the, the Snarf design here Okay. and the characterization? Uh, as far as characterization, uh, we kind of learned that uh, uh, Snarf and Lino now kind of communicate uh, telepathically. they got some kind of telepathic link. Yeah. The only thing he can really say is Snarf it's or snarf. Arf or Narf. Or right. Sh- just variations of that. What do you think about the design? Uh, the design... Uh, not too far fetched from the OG Snarf design. It, it may have to grow on me. <laughs> I don't. I don't hate it. Like, right. I, don't, I don't hate I don't, it. I don't, I don't dislike it. I, right. I think it's. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's different. I think the characterization of making Snarf like telepathically communicate with with uh, Lino is probably the smart thing to do. Yeah. And for he, this day and age, it yeah. leads him to be probably less, way less annoying than he was in the original gotcha. eighty show. Gotcha. Yeah, Lino. <laughs> Well, wow, that's, that's now it's Lino's head. So yeah, exactly. Poor Lino. Poor bastard. <laughs> poor bastard. Uh, so, yeah, so Snarf ends up coming through uh, the open doorway that the uh, the iPhone dare open. Uh, Snarf was appointed Lino's protector as a cub. He and Lino share a bond and communicate telepathically, as we mentioned. No one else can hear Snarf, or can they, Todd? There's a little hint that Calica uh, might actually Calica, I think have it, indeed a little, yeah. little heard uh, Snarf a little bit. Mm-hmm. Snarf tells Lino he was tasked as the guardian of the chamber two months prior to Lino's, uh, by Lino's father, Claudus, a chamber containing the treasures of Thundera. Chitara finds this impossible as they escaped the destruction of Thundera years ago. In our sea story, I would call it, Slide keeps getting captured and uh, spit-roasted over an open fire. <laughs> this happens multiple times, by the way. Yeah. Our last reveal of the book here, we'll go ahead and spoil and get the sea story out of the way. The reveal is Monkey Inn and his minions. Yes. So we're finally bringing Monkey Inn into the story time. Uh, the Thundercats leave the chamber, and Lino discovers Panther and instructs Calica not to enter because he doesn't trust her. Panther tells Lino he's pussy whipped and punches him in the face. <laughs> Tatara steps in and challenges Panther to a thunder duel. Coincidentally, I challenge my toilet to a thunder duel after I eat Taco Bell Todd. <laughs> Taco Bell, live mas. <laughs> I didn't know we had sponsorship. <laughs> we don't. Or do we? It's a freebie for Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, so Chitara has to beat Panther's ass for disrespecting Lino since Lino is forbidden from striking those he commands. Panther ruins his only advantage by destroying the ceremonial garb that reduced Chitara's speed. After this, Chitara makes quick work of Panther. That leaves Lino and Panther to make up, and Lino takes Calica back to his room so that he can bite the back of her neck while mounting her from behind. <laughs> Is that okay? I guess that's how cats do it. Yeah. And again, we mentioned uh, that is how cats do it. Yes, Todd. <laughs> Last week I talked about the barbed cat penis. If you, keep, uh, if you keep coming back, folks, I'm gonna give you more and more intimate details on the mating rituals of cats. <laughs> every issue that review of Thundercats. And again, the final reveal of this issue was of uh, Monkey. And so, Todd, before I get into what I liked and what I didn't like, what did you like and what didn't you like? I do like that we finally have Snarf, uh, you know, kind of wondering where, where was Snarf at. You know, there wasn't really a lot mentioned about him. I was yeah. like, are they just going to avoid that altogether? So. Right. I could, and I could have seen it going both ways, like yeah. introducing them or just leaving them out entirely. Like, uh, you know, it was a, it, it's, it's nice, I think. It adds another, I think, for fans that are like, you know, looking for that classic kind of Thundercats lineup. He's a, he was an integral part of the mm-hmm. original show. So it's nice to have him here. And how people feel about the design is probably going to vary. Just like, you know, people may feel about the design. Like Tigra, you've mentioned yeah. that a few times. <laughs> right. Uh, what else did you like? 
Uh, you know, I do like the, f- fan- the fact that Panther just kind of was fed up with Lino and just punched him right in the friggin' face. <laughs> yeah, that's probably my biggest um, thing that I liked is kind of the building of the lore that you get a little bit with the Thundercat. So, like, kind of the explanation of, like, the rituals that, of royalty. Mm-hmm. And you kind of contrast that against, like, you know, Calica kind of contrast that against how she grew up. Right. Seeing, you know, Chitara and Panthro don the ceremonial garb. Lino can't strike Panthro because he's a, a subordinate of him. So Jatara has to step in to make sure that shit gets squashed real quick. You can't have somebody like disrespecting Lion-O. The Thunder Duel. Yeah, the Thunder Duel. So like, I thought all that was actually kind of interesting world building and stuff. Again, Snarf, we got Monkey, and it's nice to have another kind of villain besides Mumra, who's done nothing to this point other than talk to Ghost Jaga. And then you have Slythe, who... Had kind of got defeated, sent on his way. Then he fought a, a Cyclops octopus, <laughs> and now he's just like really just like getting one over on him by again getting captured multiple right. times yeah. and spit roasted over an open fire. Um, anything else that you liked? Anything else to draw on here? Uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, that's about it. I mean, as far as Calica's story, you don't really get a lot more from her other than you know Panther just distrusts her. It leads to a, kind of a rift between him and Lino, which of course the Thunder Duel sorts that out. <laughs> yeah, the only other thing you really get with her is that she kind of mentions that she's having trouble sleeping. It's like she feels like she's being watched. Yeah. So maybe she's not so much a Mumra scent. Maybe they're setting her up that maybe she's a puppet of Mumra, like right. she's unknowingly kind of the the. Red Red herring here a little bit but yeah you don't get a lot much to drive that story i do like the introduction of like a secret magical thundarian room of treasures yeah it was pretty cool it adds another layer of like to the story and like what's going on especially with like them mentioning that claudus tasked snarf to watch this room like two months ago is it is it like some kind of time dilation thing is it in actuality is two months to snarf but years for yeah. them it adds another layer here um what about what you didn't like? Uh, Everything else. Well, <laughs> it's not that I, I disliked anything or that I just out and, out and out hated anything. It's just I think all of these issues so far, these first three, has been a little bit of a slow burn for me. And I understand you've got to, you know, Thundercats is a well-known property, but they're doing their own thing and they're doing their own little bit of world building. And you got to take a little bit of time to set that stuff up. Right. But I guess maybe I want things to be popping a little bit more. There's no action. There's no action. There's yeah. No, again, here's here's yeah. issue. Issue one, you have a small fight with Lino and Sly. The, the Sword of Omens gets destroyed. Maybe that's the reasoning for no big fights because you don't have Lino wielding yeah. the Sword of Omens. But still, there's things you can be done. But like, yeah, there's no action. There's not a lot there. There's 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 some world building in this one, and in, in the second one, you got Calica introduced, and again, we're not, you know, I don't know. There's a tease in for issue four that Mumra is actually going to come into action now. Okay, that we're going to see Buff Mumra. Buff Ra, if you will. Buff, Buff Ra. Buff Ra, if you will. <laughs> the ever-living. Yeah, the ever-living version of Mum Ra. <laughs> so we might actually get some action in issue four, okay. but it's been very action light so far. And the story has interesting elements, but it's not super, it's not carrying it as, as, as much as I think they think it is. Yeah, it's, it's, I guess for lack of a better word, it's not very captivating for me yet. It's setting up some good little points and threads here and there and you know some of the world building they do i will agree it you know it, it's good but it's just not i don't know it ain't there's, hitting it, home yeah, yet there's like it's lacking punch again you get that yeah. last panel of issue two. Oh, is calica you know a mum ra simp is she like there to, as, as kind of like a saboteur yeah or something to, to do with mum ra but and then here we go a whole nother issue without pulling that thread anymore here we go a whole nother issue without resolving or doing anything more about what's going to go on with the sword of omens it's yeah. just going to be shattered forever what's this mum ra jaga connection there's no you don't get any more this time jaga's just like got his back turned and again turned into like a Korean horror film on it, but like <laughs> you don't really get anything else like pulling that string anymore. Yeah. So like we're a little bit spinning our wheels here. And uh, I was kind of uh, we kind of messaged back and forth, and I'm like, is this before I ever read? It's like, is this going to be our last issue we cover? Because <laughs> and you were kind of like, I don't know. We'll see how you like it. Right. I think I've, I'm in for one more at least. Let's I got go, let's one, go more one more because I got the little tease in the last page, not the next actual, actual panel, but like you know, here's the solicitations to come mm-hmm. in the back of the book, and it's like Mumra the Ever Living, and I'm like, all right, give me some action, and maybe give me some something to grasp onto here because I'm really grasping at straws a little bit, even though I like the world building, I right. like the lore. 
that you're kind of adding to it. You're not giving me much else to like there. And some of the stuff you're setting up is too much of a slow burn right now. Yeah. Like for other things that are uh, kind of uh, pulling at my time to, you know, invest into reading something or watching something. Exactly. So, like, this is starting to lose a little bit of momentum for me here. So maybe it, maybe in issue four we get a little bit more action, maybe move this along. Hopefully if it ramps not, up. If not, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Cody's calling it now. I'm calling it now. Issue four is make or break. I said I would give it six, but issue four. Issue four is the is, penalty is gonna one, yeah. It's going to be uh, kind of be make or break for me here. Anything else from you, Todd? Here, uh, I think I'm good. Like, <laughs> I, like I say, it's it's you know it's more of kind of what we've been getting, uh, but it's and then it's not to say that it's bad. And that's not bad, yeah. It's just again when you have you know in the day and age we live with, and, and then and then you and I are trying to like you know uh, look at things and invest time into watching things that we cover mm-hmm. here or watch or read or listen to for this show it's like those kind of time constraints are kind of pulling at what we can and can't right. read or listen to or watch as opposed to other people that might have you know they don't have the same kind of thing which you know that's fine so for for me it's kind of i'm pushing it to the back burner a little bit because you're not like i'm not like every week or you know every month like okay thundercats 3 is hitting yeah you know what i mean it's, it's not just, like i have no idea when the next issue drops because <laughs> <laughs> i just tell you i'm right, right. like hey this week is thundercats 3 right. And you're, ah, okay. I'm not anticipating. I'm like, when is it, Cody? When's yeah. that issue coming out? Yeah, you know, that's, that's that's kind of a problem with it. Like, you know, when I was going in to read it here for issue three, I was like, all right, let's see if we can build up some steam. And we didn't really. Like, we added some little little stuff, but we didn't build up the the, the steam of the story. And that's yeah. my big problem right now. So four is make or break. So yeah. we'll kind of go from there, I guess, uh, next month when that happens. I will agree. So, Todd, we rank uh, comics using a one to ten scale, starting from one, the ranks are torture, two, awful, three, bad, four, subpar, five, mediocre, six, decent, seven, good, eight, great, nine, amazing, and ten, masterpiece. So, Todd, give us your final thoughts and review score for Thundercats issue three. I'm going to go with a rating of six, which is decent. Like I say, I don't think there's anything bad here. There's nothing I hate. It's just kind of, you know, kind of slowly building, and I'm hoping it's building to something epic. Yeah. We're going to, we're giving it one more they shot to call see. This, uh, Thundercats edgy. Because <laughs> that's a lot of what it is. It's just edging me along. You know what I mean? And again, you know, modern comics, modern comic storytelling. I mean, you know, I, I grew up when, you know, you resolved everything in like one issue. <laughs> so. Yeah, and you got like more than 24 pages usually. Right. Too. Yeah. No, I get it. I, I'm right with you. I think, I think I've rated all three of these issues a six out of 10, which mm-hmm. is decent. And I think it's, it's not moved up and it's not moved down. And that might be the problem a little bit. Yeah. It's just not, it ain't bumping the needle for us. Nah, it's not is not at all so again i give it six out of ten we'll hope uh we'll see what kind of comes out of issue four and that we'll kind of decide from there if uh it's worth any more time invested into a review. Maybe we'll come back next month and be like, wow. Get blown away. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I would honestly be, I'd be happy. Yeah. That that would be great. So we'll see, uh, we'll see you next month for issue four guys. Uh, All right, Todd, tell everyone how they can find us and get in touch with on social media. We're at Tau Capes on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tau Capes podcast on Facebook. You can also email us at TauCapesPod at gmail.com. If you enjoy the show, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel. Tailcase Rule will return. We want to thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye, guys. Take care, guys.